Welcome, everybody, to the adventures of Choji Panchi, Daimyo of Panchigo, which I renamed at the end of yesterday just so we could see what we owned a little bit better. So I've been told uh, over, over Discord via good channel advice giver since the beginning, the original Soulborn has said that apparently we can use our golden drop to get it to the higher tier. Which, I mean, we did obviously go through all the pages yesterday when we had the Golden Blood, so I don't know why it wasn't working. Maybe I completely missed it. But I've been told as long as we've got the, 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 the tier 6 eyes, which we do. I've also added a tier list, by the way, to all of the eyes. So it's much easier to tell kind of what level we're at and what, what we want to attain. Um, as long as we've got all the Golden Drops, which we do, and as long as we've got the tier 6 eyes, we can use our powers to go up to level 7. Uh, but I didn't actually see anything. Oh! It's now time for me to ascend to the heaven. There it is. Um, I'll be honest, that does sound like my guy's gonna go and throw himself into the ocean. <laughs> um, sure. I guess we'll ascend to the heaven? Sounds a bit worrying. Ah, shit. I was thinking, why have we not had a kid for a long time? It says our wife is 51. Um... Goodbye, wife. Let's go and find a new one instead. Uh, lie to her face. What do we care about what she thinks of us now then? Right, let's go ahead and get remarried to hopefully someone else in our dynasty who has the blood. Why don't we t try the other bloodline too? So, obviously the whole point of this series, right, was to explore some strange mods that I've never before seen. Uh, the, the Tiansha mod being the kind of primary one. Um... But, uh, you know, all the other strange little anime mods that we picked up from the Steam Workshop that I would otherwise never play in any series... I need to focus on that a little bit more, because where we're at now, I was kind of thinking this yesterday after I finished recording, where we're at now, it's just map painting again. Like, we're in a stage now where we can just swallow up the entire entirety of Japan from the inside. So we need to focus more on our, on our little breeding project. We need to see if we can get those women balls and actually get the, the other eye powers, because apparently with both of them together, there's a chance of them mutating into something really, really awesome. So that's what I want to try and do. Instead of focusing on all this empire building crap, which we've done every, literally every series that we've done with CK2, let's focus on more some of these other mods that, uh, that, that we've kind of got going for us right now. Because let's be honest, these mods are never coming back in future series. So I guess we'll see then. Before I quickly go ahead and remarry our dude, let's see if we've got anybody with the pristine blood that we can get to our core. I imagine they're all out of Diplo range again. Yeah, they are, but look at how many there are of them. And with enough time, eventually these guys are going to come over to our side of uh, our side of the world. There are definitely none in Diplo range. I didn't just miss then. Oh, there is. He's in Diplo range? Really? The Teutonic Order? No, you're wrong. Um, what that means, though, is has he got any kids? He does have kids, but none of them have... Okay, so we've, we've still got the, the Duchy of Brittany still has all of the bloodline by the looks of it. Are there any other landed rulers? There are a couple. Uh, there's Toledo... We've got, obviously, the Teutonic Order. We've got one of the provinces in Brittany. And then, uh, where is that? Oh, in the south of Ireland, there's another one. Uh, and then we've got the Patrician of uh, El Aramo. I don't know where that is. Oh, that's, that's a house in Pisa. Right, so we've got a lot of places we can actually raid now. Bear in mind, the, the, the reason we were never really able to pull this off is because it was only the ruling duchy of, of uh, Brittany that had it. Which meant if we turned up, raided it, and didn't get anything... Then, oh, I also added the, the tier to this one as well, um, just so we can really tell them apart. But if we raided something, we would then have to wait however long it takes, like like two years or whatever, for the province to recover before we could try it again. But now that we've got potentially five places to raid on each run, there's a much, much higher chance that we can pull this off. And you never know, by the time we finish one raid, we can go back to the start and do it again, even if it's just a case of sticking our retinue on boats and keeping them over there basically forever until we succeed. I don't know... To what extent you can actually capture prisoners, though. I don't know if there's a diplomacy range on being able to kidnap people and bring them back to court. We'll obviously test it. Why don't we, why don't we take our retinue and do exactly that, then? Um, if we've got a slightly larger retinue size, yeah, of course we do. Let's throw in some mass retinues, then. Uh, mainly because we do need to siege a lot of holdings, and 2,500 men is certainly not going to be sufficient. Particularly if we're going to be attacking, like, the headquarters of the Knights Templar. Or Teutonic Order, or whoever they were in hindsight. So, what are we going to do with our guy, then? I guess we'll just marry anybody for the time being. Let's, let's find someone else with the Sunblood. We might as well try and keep that going as much as possible. There is no one else with Sunblood. Um, what's the other one? It's, it's the Lineage, right? So, let's see if there are any characters with the Lineage kicking around. There aren't. Uh, none that aren't, uh, I guess, our immediate children. Um, man. So, there's no one particularly special to marry, then. I guess we could try and marry into... Why don't we request an Imperial marriage from China? And make sure they aren't going to come down on us ever. Although, apparently, we've already got the peace deal. Um, 
What do we need for an Imperial Marriage? That will also give us some, some more emergency troops, don't forget. Uh, we need to... Oh, we need to be an independent ruler. Or a king. Oh, that's the only reason we were able to do it before. That seems like a weird... So you could be an independent count. So the, the only person who can't then get the marriages are a vassal count of vassal duke. That seems so strange so that, that an independent count would be able to marry where a vassal duke would not. Weird. Okay. Um, yeah, is it, what, a, what a strange mechanic. Oh, well. She'll do. Tamako. Genius. Uh, she's, she's got 25 marshal. Think of the state marshal we can get out of that, huh? That'll do. Perfect. Thank you very much. And of course, we're a complete lunatic these days. What have we got in terms of our council experience? Why is that modifier? There it is. Uh, man, I really do like this mod. This is going to be a permanent mod, I think, in the rest of our playthroughs forever. This character's own experience, seven other rounds, Counselor, as... So you got a little bit of martial experience, but mostly we're, we're training up stewardship right now. That's fine. Hey, if we get a really long life expectancy with this, whatever this is sent to heaven means, hopefully we'll just drop down dead, otherwise that would suck. Um, but if we get a really long life expectancy from this, plus a really, really high stewardship, we can just sit here and, and turn our capital, even though it's not the best province in the world, into, into like a real powerhouse. That way, if we do get into a civil war with Japan, we might be able to really throw some, throw some shit their way. Where would we want to switch our capital to, though? Bear in mind that our current island in, in Sado has, I mean, a castle. That's all we can hold. Now, with our government side, we can also hold cities. With the Japanese uh, feudal government side, we can hold castle cities, forts, and hospitals. So anywhere with a castle and... Why are they different? You see that? Why is that field different to the other field? Uh, I have no idea. Because we can build there because it's our... Oh, because it's our province. Right, got it, got it, got it. Um... Yeah, we want to find anywhere with, like, a, a castle, two castles, a castle and a city. This one would be pretty good. Uh, Rikutiu would be not too terrible. Obviously, a five, six holding province would be kind of what we're after here. Oh, man, we're getting kind of into... Into central Japan is where they're all going to be, though, so there's not really much we can do there. I guess we'd have to try and take this... What's this duchy looking like? That's just north of the capital. We would be able to grab that one eventually. All right, so for the time being, then, why don't we focus on trying to revoke this title here? Let's go to choose a plot and then see if we can revoke any of the... So we're going to go for this one here. What do we need for that? Um, it's a county held in the capital duchy. Uh, it has to be a secondary county. It has to be held by a duke who is not his de jour liege. Uh, it's no de jour liege county under its... Uh, belongs to a tyrannical bloodline. Damn it, we can't revoke it. That's a shame. Um, we could fabricate claims on it. Obviously, that's probably the easiest way to do it right now, seeing as fabricating claims... Ah, oh, man, I would like to get the rest of Ugo. I'm realistic that's not going to make a big difference to start off with, you know, a couple of extra holdings versus getting a whole duchy. We'll stick with getting the duchies for the time being, but I, I will keep our our holding plans on the radar. How are these guys doing? So we've got 225 soldiers reinforcing there. We're still condensing our blood. Let me give them a couple of months then just to, just to let regular life tick ahead, and then we'll go out raiding. Oh, we've become an actual werewolf as well. I talked about this a lot before, but obviously with, with Lunatic... You can just be a werewolf, inverted commas, where you sit on your balcony and, and howl. But this one actually turns you into a full-blown werewolf. Uh, diplomacy minus two, personal combat skill plus ten. There we go. You run through the night, farther and farther still. Moon madness driving you. You jump ditches, climb hills, swim small rivers, and also have magic eyes. Excellent. <laughs> another 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 strength to our bow, I guess. Oh. Yukasada committed honorable seppuku because he was craven, envious, and slow. How can he be sh shrewd and slow? I thought they were opposites. I have no idea. So oh, he's strong and tall as well. He was quite... He was he was all right breeding stock. And more importantly, he had the lineage. Well, oh. Finally, after years of effort, here I am at the top of the golden blood. I no longer observe the sun from the earth, but observe the earth from the sun. People look at me with admiration, hoping to reach my level of enlightenment too. That's quite a cool little... Uh, how, why is that such, like, a well-written little metaphor? And then everything else is, like, jank. My power is limitless. There we are. Divine al Sahenda, Tier 707. I'm sure I'm still pronouncing that wrong. Whatever. Um, lose condensing, but we do gain that highest tier trait. What does that do for us? Wow. Plus 10 to everything. 75 personal combat. 3.5 health. Bear in mind, this is after I've nerfed it as well. So that would normally be insanely powerful. Can we condense our blood again, though? Oh, whoa. Use your ultimate power. Well, let's go ahead and condense, I guess, five more golden drops. Wow. Man, this is one of the most developed characters we've ever received. Look at this. We've also gained Royal Council. I really love this. This is such a great mod. This character has served some time on the Council of a King. Tier 1 of 3. We gain General Opinion plus 2 and Diplomacy plus 1. A famous diplomat. That, that suits us. You arrive at Rikazen and start asking about the Blade Master. He passed away before your arrival. One of the students vanished with his sword. Damn it. Okay. 
I was kind of hoping whether or not I could prove my theory that the swords do get consecutively better. A Ash Ashiko? Uh, movement speed, monthly prestige, and entry. Cool. Ashiko climbing shoes used in combination with climbing claws to gain access to areas that normally exist at off-limits. We also picked up a kimono from somewhere. I guess this is the bonus of being, uh... It's bonus of being a duke, and especially having a shitload of courses like we've had. As, they, if they've, as they've started dying off, we've actually gained a load of their crap here. We've got, like, four lots of sake. Maybe we should give some away. I actually haven't for a very, very, very long time made sure that our dynasty members were all married off. I completely forget to keep doing this. Um, right, reset. Let's go great house. Mine, and then marry. No. Ooh, God, that's a lot of people. All right. Now, bear in mind, we've also got that other lineage to try and keep secured now. It, we're not quite in the safe with it. Obviously, we've got a lot of family members with it kicking around, but I need to make sure that stays within our dynasty too. Because that's two of the four, I guess, technically, uh, eye powers within our dynasty. I still want the other one so that they can combine. And I assume the other two can maybe combine as well. I've really no idea. Um, so, married, no. I guess we'll start at the top. Is this guy, is this 102-year-old dragon still capable of having kids? I have no idea. We'll give it a go. Um, arranged marriage between Frieza. Is Frieza, Frieza our half-brother? Man, we got a lot of dynasty members. Sailor Moon, that random girl in our dynasty was called. Incredible. Oh, we actually also gained uh, Novice Fighter from our training too. There was a chance of losing Arbitrary, which would have, I think, been a little bit better. Here's the issue. Uh, all of our kids now, or all of the rest of them, are a little bit too young to marry off. I guess we could wait a couple more years and then maybe marry, like... Kyoko to Brock from Pokemon. I think we'll do that just to ensure that our dynasty members have... Oh, he's already married. Hang on, let's reset that. Right, so we'll go ahead and we'll marry inbred anime character, ironically, to one of his family members. So we'll marry him to whoever's the oldest, so she'll do. Um, and then we'll go Saber, arrange betrothal to... Got anyone else with the bloodline? Son? No one? Oh my god, okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I am betrothing, right? Oh my god, because we've only had daughters. Even now? Jesus, okay. Um... Get out of here. We need to we need to have a lot more kids then. We've had seven daughters for fuck's sake. Okay, come on. That's not good enough. Let's take a new concubine. Who have we got? Um I guess we'll go for her, because she does have the lineage. Alright, welcome aboard. And then let's go ahead and take a new concubine. Oh, is that not our bastard daughter? Oh, our our niece. Okay, fair enough. Um I guess I'll bring in some people with with, with strong, lustful, high Midas Touch, whatever else we'll give fertility bonuses. I left a comment the other day asking why I always go for Midas Touch rather than Lustful, Hedonist, those type of things. It's, it's, uh, and, and Fertile, I guess, would be another good choice for this, but they obviously can never lose Midas Touched. So it's always worth going for, going for that one because Fertile is, again, another one that can't be lost. But besides that, Lustful and Hedonist can both disappear. And worse of all, they could gain chased on top of that. So I've received news that my lover is with child. Ah, shit. She's the one I just married off to. Panchi. Panchi. Panchi Brock from Pokemon. Damn it. Uh, we'll go ahead and break up with her and hopefully... Oh, no. Well, never mind. We did it for the dynasty at the end of the day. Right, so our army of 7,000 is ready to head out raiding. Let's get them on the boats. And we're not going to see those guys for a very, very long time. Now, while we're out here trying to raid the people specifically for the bloodline, we'll also try and get the Wiven Balls again. If we could just get one of them per journey. I mean, if we do a journey per episode, like I said, that's going to be pretty nice. Um... It's a spy in your prison, giving monthly prestige, but gaining... Behead him. Yeah, another plus two marshal. That'll help. Now we're up to 50 fucking two. So we finished condensing our blood. Now we can see what the use your ultimate power... Oh. Huh. Uh, oh. Is this... We, we only get one of these, right? So we've got... Holy shit. Um, let me rule under heaven till the end of infinity gives immortal... Let me roll into heaven till the end of infinity. Apparently does nothing. I'm going to go and just quickly check the files. Make sure this actually does do nothing. Or whether or not it's just something that isn't, um, isn't tooltipped properly. Decision sun, I assume it's under. Um, I'm going to just go immor immortal. No results. Oh, that's always a good sign, isn't it? Ah, there you go. Okay, so the second option creates artifacts. So you've got the choice of immortality, artifacts, or a an incredibly good bloodline. Um, can we do this again? I assume we only get to do this once, right? Let me just take a look at this. Um, oh my god, apparently not. Uh, it is commented in French, but that's alright. Um, use the ultimate power, okay. Uh, that's about as far as my French goes. Create artifact. That's just create artifact. Um, 
I think we can do it. I genuinely think we can do all of them. I can't see the reason why we can't do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I genuinely think we can use all of these. But it's just a case of condensing more golden drops. Um, you know what? Let's start with this one. Let's empower the entire dynasty. You're welcome, by the way. Um, what, what, where is that bloodline then? Oh, there it is. Oh, perfect. Sun bloodline. No picture, no description. Oh, no. Um, incredible. Great. Okay. Uh, so we just gained the personal combat skill plus two to everything, because of course you would. Uh, wait. Oh, besides intrigue, because why would we have that? Um, raw defense plus five, personal combat skill plus ten, health plus three. Phenomenal. Just what we wanted. Okay, and then I guess when we've condensed our blood again, we'll go for... I might not take the immortal trait, I'll be honest with you, because I, I, like I said, I think... To try and avoid the, the, the game stagnating and end up just being a map painter, I probably won't go for that. Um, but the other one sounds pretty fun. The, the, the artifacts is a really cool idea. Oh my god, a sun. A sun from the... <laughs> from the concubine that I married off to this dude. Or no, it wasn't a concubine, it was a lover. The question is, do we legitimize this sun? Despite the fact he is Jurchen, he is Taoist, he is... Born a bastard, or do we just... Should we acknowledge him? Then we can, if we get no other alternative. Then we can swap him over. Let's go for Heritage as well. Uh, just so that we can make sure that he's trained in, in, in our in our regular ways. Um, so sign him a Guardian. My god. All of this for... Yeah, we'll have a Dragon train him. Wait, no, that's a bad idea, because he's a Dragon. Yeah, he's got Dragon culture. Um... What a strange... I can't train my son like a dragon, obviously, because he's a dragon. Right, there we are. So that way we should be able to talk him over to Japanese uh, religion and culture. There we go. Oh, but he's tiny? <laughs> oh, but with the bloodline, it actually might clear it. I'm not sure whether or not the... It, it depends how the bloodline mod handles this. Whether or not it will check for any negative... Uh, negative modifier. Whether it just checks for, like, the, the generic sort of incapable, etc, etc. Damn it, we need a tiny anime character. Tiny anime character. I've been assured that Gon is a tiny anime character. So that is now the name of our glorious successor, our tiny successor. If that doesn't disappear now, I'm going to be so annoyed. Although we've got our designation, haven't we? So it's not really the end of the world. Um, right, you can educate him because you are genius. Actually, what's wrong with us educating him? Oh, so we are condensing our blood, aren't we? Right, okay, when we get back, we'll we'll take over. Well, there we go. I guess step two of our blood powers. Uh, has the trait golden drop? Do we not have the trait golden drop? Oh, four out of five. Damn it. Okay, let's give it another go. I assume that's what it means, that we need to have five golden drops. Also started building up some more buildings in the capital, given that we had a shitload of cash. I figured the bathhouse couldn't hurt. It's only another 2.5% bonus fertility, but it will add up. Thank you. Improve relations with... Oh, that's quite good. With the... Who are you? Uh, who are you? Oh, you're the... He's the emperor. But he's the figurehead emperor. Right, got it, got it. Because there's a shogun right now. I see. That's quite a cool system. Um, great. And he must be the head of the religion, I would assume? There you go. That's how it works. Oh, cool. We want to get that for ourselves, then. What if we could grant him a landed title and then grab his stuff? That'd be quite good. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I don't know if there's any way to serve the kingdom hmm don't know we'll see how it goes it might it's basically just the papacy i would assume apparently our ships are in position they are in position oh thank god i was gonna say i must have forgotten to mark them as raiders okay uh we are looking for what to the knights was it the knights of sardinia it wasn't the knights of sardinia Moorish battle standard whoa oh this was the guy with all that crazy shit oh he does have the four star women ball it was the knights of sardinia all right let's get up here then and uh See if we can get lucky this time around. We, we outnumber them by almost 10 to 1 here. Uh, Panchi Mido, Midoriko, our grandson? Granddaughter. Sunblood and the lineage as well. We could really do with... Not that. <laughs> 10,000 heading over via... Okay, so they're heading into hills. At... Less than half morale. Now, our morale is... Oh, our morale's fine. Oh, right, of course, that's a siege by you, moron. We should be good. That was that was a... That was a really stupid attack they did there. Let's just assault it down. We got it. Emerald Scepter. Bollocks. Okay. Um, we knocked it down. We're out of there. we still got the same amount of troops. Bear in mind the retinues as well, so it doesn't really matter if we take many losses. They'll always reinforce. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, show me the next one then. 
Uh, Wyvern Balls. All right, so we've gone through Knights of Sardinia. Yeah, failed. Um, Queen of Die. we can, can't can get to. We've got you. And then we've got you there. And then we need to also track down the ones with the Pristine Blood who are rulers, right? That was kind of the main reason I came over. All right, let's try this again then. Pristine Blood. I'll mark the rulers as special interest, but I will probably make a... Are you unlanded now then? Oh, he's lost his land. Bollocks are kind of much about that. Um... I'll probably disable ruler messages for all of these guys because I really don't care about every minor thing people on the other side of the planet do. Oh, there's actually quite a few now. There's actually, it was what, five, six rulers? That's pretty good. All right, that's all of them. Oh, besides you. I guess we'll mark him just in case he gets landed again in the future. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's go on a little bit of a tour here. So I guess we'll start off down in Pisa and then we'll head up and around. Uh, it's two in Ireland? Uh, yeah, there are two in Ireland. Oh, that's really good. Okay, and then that one we can't get to. You know what? I'll, I'll take him off then just for just for the timing. Right, so starting Pisa. We are after you. And you are a patrician, I assume, actually in Pisa. Uh, yes, he's in Pisa proper. So let's go burn that one down. The only issue is it's under siege, so we might have to come back to this one later. Maybe we should start an island and come back to Pisa, because they seem they seem a bit busy with Sicily right now. So let's go up here. And you never know, by the time that, that war is... Oh, God, these guys are also under siege. Damn it. Oh, my wife Tamako is pregnant, and she's the genius one. Holy shit. Oh, I love the fact that we stole that Emerald Scepter and then immediately started wearing it. That's incredible. Okay, so Gon Panchi is definitely not what we want. He's got the lowest tier, tier 1 of 7 of the eye powers, and he's tiny. And it hasn't been removed by the eye powers, more importantly, so we definitely don't want that. Oh, fucking daughter. A daughter was born to Daimyo Choji the Frank and Mihoko Kaifu. She's a, a bastard. I need to legitimize her. Damn it. Um, Machiko. Another daughter. Put them with my pile of daughters. Right, here we go. Let's get in there. Let's get in there, burn it down. Any prisoners are potentially good, don't forget. Because if we manage to get a daughter or someone, we could just marry them matrilineally, patrilineally, whatever. Gets the blood into the dynasty. My dear, you do not need new clothes. The realm is too busy building bathhouses. Why are we not... What? What? <laughs> um... Okay, I guess we're not raiders anymore. For reasons I don't fucking understand. Why did that turn... What? Are we not allowed to loot? Is that why? Uh, is it because you're Buddhist? Japan Revolt. I wonder if it's because this guy's Buddhist. Oh, bollocks. Well, that's fuck things. All right, there's our golden drop. And that should be... Skip the dual engine, whatever. Um, that should be all we need for our next power... Give me them artifacts. There is a number of possibilities which I can choose from for now. What sort of artifact will I create? A sword to conquer them all or a necklace to watch them all? Razor Eye or Ignis? I guess we go for Ignis. What does that do? We already had a pretty good sword, so in hindsight... Oh, it's a flaming sword. The handle of the sword, which, when in the hands of a member of the Golden Dynasty, is brandished in combat, reveals a flaming blade piercing the plate like velvet. 35% morale damage, 25 regular damage, 10 martial, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, sure. Ignis, okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna rename you to, uh, to, hmm. I need, to, I need something fun to call this, but I haven't got anything in mind. Is that like a flaming sword from anime? Anyone's got a good name for the sword? Throw it at me, because I haven't got anything good, and I can't imagine we're going to get anything better from this. So this is going to be our permanent dynastic sword from now on. I guess we'll immediately try going for the other one as well. And so we want the necklace. One, two, three, four, five, just to skip, you know, the 20 years of waiting for all this shit to go through. Right, there we are. So now we'll get the necklace. I have no idea what the hell they could do with the necklace to make it remotely good. To be honest, I don't think in CK2 I've ever had Groom and Ambition for the best part of 40 years. I don't think we've ever had it this long. It's absolutely nuts. What is that supposed to be? Adulterer. Oh. Oh, whoa. Should it, look at that. We also get the diplomacy and intrigue. Yeah, because that's what we need. More stats with our 62 marshal. <laughs> I genuinely feel like, in hindsight, I kind of wasted my time. I don't care about you. Get out of here. Um, in hindsight, I kind of feel like I wasted my time. I added a bunch of balanced artifacts, didn't I? But in mind, I added the, the to... The sort of base uh, mod, because there was really nothing in Japan in terms of artifacts at all. I added, like, the katana and the armor and the sake and the, those things and the kimonos, whatever else. I wanted to keep it as balanced as possible. And then they throw this fucking sword that gives us plus 10 martial and 25% flat damage. It's just absolutely nuts. Oh, God. Um, Japan revolt against who? Oh, that one province, really? 
Oh, the one province and then the Northern Islands too, and then one of the Ryukyu Islands. Brilliant. So it's it's all of Japan versus one man. It's combined as six gold as well. Um, I want to get out on this. Can we... Oh, geez, there's not much point helping out because they're already going to win it. I guess this will be our new emperor then. I suppose our next job then, while we are limited to not being able to raid because of our new Buddhist king, we could go for this one. So we need uh, five friends, no rivals. And we need to have not any realm char starts. One of these must be true. Total count, opinion less than zero. Not any realm char starts. I'm not sure what that tooltip is supposed to mean. I assume it means no other characters in the realm who are count tier have to have an opinion of less than zero. If that's the case, trying to forge this bloodline is going to be really fucking hard. Because, I mean, we've got a, quite a large empire. There's a lot of counts in Japan. I don't really know what that... Not any realm char starts. I'm going to look into that, just make sure it's actually working in between episodes. We've also written the Panchi Cookbook, which is, again, not how to build a well, but I guess we'll take it. It's 200 plus 1, Dynastic Opinion plus 5. Uh, I mean, the Dynastic Opinion is obviously very good when we've got a fairly, I assume, a fairly large dynasty. Uh, 34 living members from a total of one dude is, is from one dragony boy, is not terrible, especially given that it's only been, what, like five generations? Okay. Um, but, I mean, what else have we got that I would have to unequip, though? Guns of Venus, garbage. Yeah, get rid of it. This is better. Aha! Our bloodline. Okay. Now we go and make the world's ultimate necklace of the finest pearls, the Razor Eye. There it is. What does it do? Razor Eye. There it is. It's got no background, which is just the most cursed thing I've ever fucking seen. A necklace forged with gold. Oh my god, look at what it does. A necklace forged with gold and the blood of the sun bloodline glowing in the dark and giving a strong leader aura to its user. To it is user. A necklace forged with golden blood, yada yada yada. Uh, diplomacy plus 10. Vassal opinion plus 25. <laughs> Dynasty opinion plus 25. Yeah. Uh, how can you kill a god and all that? Good lord. And I love that you've also got the option. It would make sense if you could do one of those. And only one of them for all time. That would make a lot of sense. But the fact that you could pick, you could pick all of them with one character is fucking insane. Wow. Um... Yeah, there we go. We are unkillable, unstoppable, ridiculously overpowered at this stage, even though I've nerfed it into the ground. I just don't... I mean, we've, we've got to now focus on what is out of our control, what can still pose a challenge. Collecting the artifacts, collecting the bloodlines is exactly that, I think. Another fucking daughter. Put it on the pile. I'm not even bothering to name them, because these are just going to be... There's so many of them. The ones that we're going to play as, or the ones that are going to get directly married, I think is, is probably not a terrible idea. But these daughters, by the time we end up playing as our next day. We're never going to fucking see him again. And they're probably never going to be relevant to the campaign. Oh, look at that. It's been 10 years since I first became a royal counsellor. Throughout these years, I've learned much about dealing with other lords and ladies, as well as gaining a level of prestige in the eyes of my peers. Famous royal counsellor. More bonuses for this mighty man. Good God. Now imagine this, but with the other two bloodlines as well. That's what I'm all about here. Now, what is the other... There's the pristine blood, and then there's the other lineage, but I don't remember what it's called. Uh, lineage. Uh, Sarin lineage. That's it. That's the one we want to get. Sarin lineage. Is there anyone within Diplo range? Uh, yes. No. No, there's not. It's Teutonic Order. Oh my god, hang on. It's just occurred to me. Oh, I think I talked about this before, didn't I? Wow, that's insane as well. Jesus. Personal combat skill 75, plot power defense, plot discovery chance, assassination chance, uh, pristine blood, and the Sarin lineage. They have done what we've done here. So we've combined the two Byakugan bloodline sort of analogs, and they've done the same. He's also, what is that? Partially blind. It's like he's got this super magic power. Tier 7 out of 9. I think the only way to get from 8 of 9 is to kill your brother and steal his eyes, I would assume. And then... I have no idea what 9 of 9 is. The fuck knows how this one works. This one is, would have been a much cooler playthrough in hindsight. I wish I'd have picked this one. Because this one's all about killing off your dynasty members and kind of and, and combining your power. Which I think would have been a, a much cooler idea. Oh, wow. So Japan has actually broken free of China. The only downside to that is the new Japanese ruler is Buddhist. Which means we now can't raid. Which is a massive, tragic shame. I guess we've got more reason than ever to kind of manifest destiny and take the rest of Japan for ourselves. I've had that guy fabricating claims for what feels like fucking years now and he hasn't done anything. Get back on it. Um, yeah, that sucks. That really sucks that we are now trapped 
on our tiny little island. Can't go anywhere besides into the other parts of Japan. Um, Commander? I don't know if that would give us council experience. I doubt it. We won't bother with that. So now fabricating climbs becomes the only thing, really, we can do, unfortunately. So we'll just sit here and, and let it tick over. What's the other thing we can do is immortality? No, I don't want to do that. Damn it, I just wanted to check it. I better not hear any single person complain about, oh, Mr. Streamer, why did you remove immortality? Probably something to do with the fact we've got every good trait in the game. We have 62 martial. Our lowest stat is 26 learning. And we've also got probably a plus 20 health from all of this other crap combined anyway. It's not... It, I mean, that's too far. That's genuinely too far. We, we are just going to be... At least this way, we can still die to RNG, which, as we've proven, we're quite capable of doing in this campaign. Oh, no. Brock from Pokemon died frothing up the mouth. <laughs> yep. Just like in the anime. And to top it all off, another friggin' daughter. That's one son. Oh, two, two sons? Wait, we had two sons. Uh, Panchi gone. Oh, right, of course. We had gone the garbage and then... The bastard son, who might be the only one we can really go for at this point. Yeah, who hasn't even unlocked his powers yet. We'll see how he goes, but I genuinely think this kid here, Wagonine, might be the one that we want to go for in the end. Anyway, we'll leave it there for today. Tomorrow, we fabricate claims, and we take what is rightfully ours, that being hopefully everything. And then we can flip Japan back over to a Shinto ruler, and then maybe go out reigning for once. Long journey ahead of us, though, so it's going to take quite some time to get into the position. I'm going to have to do a hell of a lot of editing going forward. Thank you to, of course, the insane top tier level patrons making this series and the channel possible in the first place. Thank you to Goatfather. My name isn't Dio. Limpy George, Ninja Tree V, Serik313, Slippy Nips, Leo, Alex, Scared Blueberry, Jonah Waters, Shay, and everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Big shout out to these guys for keeping the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Moon Doggy, Nick, Void Prince Kibo, Udric Haddon, Devorda, Tiger Rifter, Shlomo, Zulu, Zega the Chaos King, Derek F, Super Nanny 89, Empty Machine, Justin Plock, and all of the other patrons for allowing series like this to exist in the first place. Thank you all for watching.